Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over some flex clip templates and tips where I kind of showcase a lot of the templates that they have and of course give you some tips while I'm going through to help you create some of these very quickly. If you haven't gotten to test out flex clip at the time of creating this video, they currently have a very special deal. I will put that link in the description and if you click that, you can check out all the prices, the perks and the features that you get with that. I don't want to talk about it too much because eventually it'll go away and I don't want to confuse anyone. So that is up to you to check out as you go through this video. So here we are in the actual flex clip video editor and I have the templates section here. Obviously this is going to be where you can edit everything. This was from a previous video I did, but kind of scrolling through, I'm going to click on the most popular just to see like what a lot of people are using. As you can see, the wedding save the date slideshow has been pretty popular, which is great. I talked about that in another video, how I wish I had some type of virtual wedding invitation. It would have saved me a lot of time personally, a lot of logos you can see. Thanks for watching. That's an YouTube outro, uh, things like this are great. All you really need to do here is look for a template, say if you wanted to do an outro, that where maybe the colors kind of match what you already want. You could obviously change around the colors, but the cool thing is if you like this background, it's very easy to change this picture. It's very easy to change that picture, which looks like it could be a logo. That would be the next video, so you don't even need to change that. And everything else is pretty much text that you can edit around. So when it comes to tips, this is something I always talk about. Ironically enough, just not with videos, say with landing pages too, look for a template that's gonna really accommodate your needs, okay? Once you figure out what you want, whether it be an intro, an outro, or say like a meme, or just any type of video, look for one that already relates to your brand, has colors that you like, the transitions that you like, because the more that's already taken care of, the quicker you're going to be up and running. And I'm pretty sure I've demonstrated that a lot in probably all of my videos that relate to creating some type of video with Flex Clips. So that's a very big tip for you. Logo name, pretty simple, just a unveiling of the curtain. And the funny thing is all you need to do is when here, I'll actually show you right now. Like I said, if you wanted to use this, let's uh, click on this. Let's apply one page and let's replace what I already have. So all you would need to do is just put your logo here. Let's go to where's the media. Let's drag this in and let's change this. All right. I know that doesn't look great, you know, just a quick example, but it just goes to show you that when you have something that you like, that's pretty much going to be the process. Let's go back to templates after choosing a template that you like. Let's hit back here. Let's look at some more. And it would be the same thing for all these. Like I said, this one isn't actually very appealing, you know, shampoo promo, uh, sneaker promotion. These are a wide variety. I'd say like a grab bag just because they're the most popular. You can see a lot of different things going on here. Let's go back a little bit. And recently I did an intro video. I know intros and outros are very popular. So I'm going to go here. I don't think I let the screen load enough. So there are a lot of these for you to pick from. And if you'll notice, most are going to be the 16 to 9 format, what you can use for YouTube videos. There are going to be some that are a little bit taller, the vertical ones. So you can use that, say, on TikTok or Instagram stories, stuff like that. But scrolling down, there are certainly a lot of them. So there's most likely going to be something that you can look for specifically. There's also the search button. So if you want to say like fitness or training fit, you know, it's going to be easier to find those in your specific niche. But once again, just looking for something that you can quickly edit uh, and it's going to be much easier for you to get up and running. Okay. So as we can see, they go on. I think you get the idea with that. Uh, what else is popular? Let's look at social media. So a lot of vertical ones, you know, probably going to be great for stories like Instagram, as it says right there, TikTok is going to be good. It's time to treat yourself. Yeah, most of these are going to be the vertical ones. There will be some others that aren't, of course. So shop now, even like this, if you wanted to utilize this, you know, change around the image. And of course, whatever it is you're going to be offering, it's just going to be the text aspect. Once again, the picture and the text, you kind of get that old school black and white look if that's what you're looking for. Okay, the best at home workouts, you know, swipe up, join the party. Great. Let's go back over here. Let's see what else we have slideshows. So I don't believe I've done a, have I done a slideshow video yet? If I haven't, I will. Here's another one. So let's, you know, hover over this, see what it looks like. Wedding save the date slideshow. So it talks about when it's going to be. We have another one to the left of it as well. I think you get the idea, but slideshows are great, especially if you have a lot of pictures. Once again, this is perfect. Look at the, the beautiful wedding theme. It has the flowers on the top and the bottom sections there. Okay. 
Mother's Day, Summer, Memorials. They have food ones, Facebook cover, slideshow, winter slideshow. Okay, and something else I want to let you know is that just because, let me scroll back here, this says vacation slideshow, doesn't mean that you can't use it for something completely different. Let's just think off the top of my head. It's like if you're doing sports, you know, it doesn't mean you can't use that, right? You're still going to have the transitions. You're still going to have the text. So if you like that color, you can simply use that one, you know? So let's click on this. Let's apply all six pages. Let's replace it. <clears throat> Okay, and those have loaded, so that's good. So that's something I want you to keep in mind. I, I know sometimes when I'm going through software, I've done this before. That's why I want to bring it up in case you do the same thing. Like I said, just because it has vacation and just because there's vacation background pictures doesn't mean you can't use it for something completely different. All that you would change is the fact that you would have a different picture. And of course, you have just this, you know, where your text would be, which you can make bigger. You can still change it around the color if you want. It just happens to go nice with like a vacation and beachy theme. So overall, I think you get the idea when it comes to that. That's just a very quick look at some of the templates. Like I said, there's a lot of them, especially when it comes to like intros and outros. Those are very popular with FlexClip. And of course, to make your life easier, look for something that has your transitions done for you, where you can just simply add in your images, add in your logo logo, add in your pictures, you can add music if you want, or maybe you could just do a video background that's going to be up to you as well. That will make your life so much easier, especially when you use this specific way of creating videos. In fact, let me show you one second what I'm talking about. All right, I'm back on the homepage. I'm just going to click on this one here and I'm going to pause this so it doesn't talk over me. Anytime you click on customize, storyboard is what I always prefer using. Once again, my last tip, this will allow you to get started much quicker. If you look at timeline mode, it gives you more control, like to maximize your editing capabilities. So it's more control and flexibility. This one gives you a little bit less, but like it says, it's very simple to create and you could do it in just a few minutes. That's the method I prefer. So I prefer storyboard mode overall. I recommend you do the same. That's my final tip. And I hope that helps you out when it comes to actually using this, or if you're going to use it, that'll help you create those videos much quicker. If you'd like to test out FlexClip, once again, they do have that special deal at the time of creating this video. That link will be in the description. That about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.